waiting on this area of low pressure to bring our next more widespread area of rain that we'll be dealing with late morning into the early afternoon tomorrow. Now, we will find ourselves in the warm sector of this storm system pretty much all day long tomorrow. Temperatures right now roughly 10 to 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday across the region. We are sitting in the 40s to uh, right around 40 degrees across eastern Mercer County. These are about it for our lows tonight. Temperatures will not drop much from where they're sitting currently and tomorrow even warmer than what we had for today. So going through tonight, we'll watch for a couple of passing showers and sprinkles and then coming up on daybreak, I expect mainly cloudy skies, but the steadier uh, batch of rain doesn't holds off until we come closer to the early afternoon. And you see this wall of moisture moving in deep reds and oranges in there indicate the potential for some moderate to heavy downpours and also we'll watch for a couple of embedded rumbles of thunder. That's also something we could deal with during the day on Thursday into the evening. You see those temperatures there quite mild, but that cold front starts pushing through as we get to this time tomorrow. That's when we're going to look for our drop in temperatures and overnight tomorrow into Friday. That rain that's out there mixes over to snow. Now, I don't expect a whole lot of accumulation initially with this. It'll have been a warm day and temperatures still showing above freezing here at 3 a.m. for a lot of our communities. But towards sunrise, we get closer to that freezing mark of 32 degrees. Now, we'll start watching for especially our grassy areas and colder surfaces starting to collect some of that snow. And through the day into the afternoon and evening, that potential ramps up for getting a little bit of accumulation that could also stick to roadways. As you see here, 5 p.m. on Friday, still picking up on some widespread snow as temperatures start falling into the 20s. So this is our window where accumulation becomes a little greater. We'll be watching for some slick spots out there. But by Saturday morning, this is where I expect that range for totals to be. Most of us in that dusting to up to two inch range, a swath of about one to three expected into portions of Trumbull and Mercer County as you go up into that northern snow belt, those totals ramping up. And as far as travel conditions go tomorrow, I don't expect any concerns there. But as we get into the daylight hours Friday, patchy slick spots become possible and uh, elevated risk for some snowy or icy spots as we go through Friday night into Saturday morning. So 39 tonight, mostly cloudy, a few showers or sprinkles could see a couple of patches raindrops during that early morning commute, but rain becomes likely as we get into late morning and early afternoon with a rumble of thunder possible and about 50 degrees for that high temperature. That is looking like our warmest day of the forecast period right now, followed by the coldest day two days later. Saturday's high only 29 degrees, but that cool down, it's brief. We start warming up again Sunday. We're back into the 40s for next week. Next chance for showers moves in on Tuesday.